We'll just talk about the game on uh, Friday night. Obviously, you got on the score sheet. You must have been delighted as well to cap off a, a good display by scoring as well. Yeah, the boys put in a really good performance. We fought hard. We recognised it was a big game for us. And, yeah, awesome to get on the score sheet, which is good. Yeah, just, just talk us through with that third goal. Uh, it came quickly. It ricocheted, and I didn't have much time to think about it. And it just kind of came natural, naturally yeah. to me. And, and, and do you think that was sort of the, the, the goal that sort of killed the game and, and it was a crucial goal as well? I'd like to think so, but I think we had, we had control of the game and I think we were maintaining possession and we were moving the ball well. It capped off some good play and no, it, was, it was good to ease a little bit of pressure. Yeah, and obviously the, you know, the team, I guess, has at times have struggled to score goals. So to score eight in the last two weeks, that's a real positive as well, heading into finals. Yeah, we've been... Throughout the whole season, we've been creating a lot of chances, and I think that it's good now that we're being a bit more clinical, and we're really putting them away, and we can, you know, towards the end of the game, we can set a little bit and maybe move the ball around and tie the other team out and hopefully get more goals, so yeah, it's good. Yeah, and what's the focus, I guess, now with two games left in the regular season? I think it's to maintain the form that we're in and head into finals. We recognise how big the next two games are to push further up the table. And yeah, it's just now it's about just focusing week to week and just making sure that we achieve our goal of making finals. Yeah, and, and on that Sydney this week, what are you expecting for them? And do you think you could maybe take advantage of the fact that they have to travel to uh, South Korea during the week and then come back and fly and, and you know, play a game yeah. against you guys? Well, Sydney are a great team. Everyone knows that. It's always difficult traveling from Asia back and forth during the week, but they're professional and they've shown it all season that they're a top quality side and we're not going to take them lightly, obviously. But like you said, I think with the travel in their legs, maybe we can really put a good fight out and we can definitely get the result. Yeah, and obviously I believe you've secured a finals position because Brisbane Roar and Western Sydney still have to play each other uh, with, with in the last two games. So I guess the mindset doesn't change. It's you, your, your, uh, your aim, I guess, is to finish as high as possible and grab a home final if you can. Yeah, well approach every game exactly the same way we want to win and we want to keep progressing up the table. It's great that we may have secured finals positions, but now it's about, you know, can we reach the top four? Can we get a home final? It's just there's always improvement and there's always things to work on. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess just back on uh, Friday night's game, I mean, how, how big has Johan been since he's come back? Uh, I think it's three goals in as many games and every time he plays I don't think we've lost a game so just how big a player he's been for us. He's, in, he's an incredible player and we've known that from the start of the season and now he's just showing again how great he is in these past couple of weeks and he's very clinical, he gets in the right areas, he's always beats his man, gets some good crosses in the box and he's always there to finish them off and it's a pleasure to play alongside such a top quality player. Yep and, and just finally I guess playing in front of a big crowd Friday night, how much do you think that really helped the boys and you know lifted the boys and seeing a full Cooper Stadium was, was yeah, good to see? It was it was awesome because before the game I even looked around just before kickoff and I was like, This is incredible, it was buzzing and it gives you that, that extra energy which you didn't think you had and it was incredible to have all the people out there and hopefully we can reward them all with a home final.